Hey, Planet Popper here, and today I've got this for you. It's a programmable combination lock. So uh, I've memorized the code. It's on, off, on, off. That'll open up this. Excellent. And then it'll shut it after a delay. Now, background here is where you set the code. If you want a torch to be on at the front, you have this lever down. If you want to be yeah, if it, we want to be on, the lever's down. If we want to be off, the lever's up. So, um, this of course has to be entered in the opposite order to what you would input it there, though. I'll get right into the tutorial, shall I? Right, I'll be making it with uh, four different inputs, but you can make it with pretty much as many as you like, within reason. So, um, make a little case like this. Buttons up top, buttons down the bottom, torches on top of these blocks. And I'll come around the back and do alternating one and two, like so. And then keep going if you've got more one, two, like so. Easy enough. So uh, at the end of all these, you want to put redstone dust. And then where there isn't redstone dust, you want to put a repeater face in that way. And put torches on the end of all of them. Then below each torch, put a piece of redstone dust, and then do like a checker pattern with redstone dust and repeaters. So there, 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 there. So kind of that. So none of the lines are interfering with each other, which is what we want. Now we've got to put re where the redstone dust is there. We put repeaters facing that way, and then we put another uh, repeater in front of the other piece of redstone dust facing that way because we want to get the signal away from here so it doesn't interfere with these torches or this piece of redstone and put a piece of redstone dust there and there and now this is where we make uh, an X or gate so like that put torches up top repeaters like that go into a block which has torches on it. This goes into a block. All these go into blocks. Which and these have torches on the side here of the middle one. Of this one here. These then go into a block again. Let's go into another torch. Let's go into another block. These also have torches on them. Blocks on top repeaters facing that way. Now we'll come down here, build out another line, torches here, repeaters facing that way into the middle, blocks on these torches, more torches on the blocks, and more blocks on the torches, blocks on the side here, and repeated facing in that direction. These then go into torches. Let's go into blocks. More blocks. Blocks on the side of each. With repeaters facing towards the middle. So like that. They then go up into these blocks here, which have torches on them. And then those go into these, this block here, which has redstone along it. Like so. That is a bit bulky, but it's the best way i found to do it. I wanted to make this uh, whole device pistonless. So I did it like this. Now we want to make the input for the back. So we have as many blocks as you have inputs. Levers on all of them, which go into repeaters. Like that. And here is where you set your code. You've got to make sure that you do it in opposite order, order because this one, the one on the right, is setting the one on the left. So if you put it in opposite order, saying this, this is the most left one, this is the one that went next to it, and so on. I think you understand me though. So I want my new code to be 
Uh, let's, have, let's have a look. Hmm. On, on, off, off. So, that means on, on, off, off. Now, as you can see up here, that's caused all these t torches to turn off, which means we can leave this out, put it into this torch. So this is a big, this is an and, and gate here. And then that comes, and this is your output here. So, um, you can have this lead into your door, whatever kind of door you want. I'll just put a little door frame, and put the door there. Now, um, for the reset line, what you want to do, build up here, like so. So, um, you have it kind of opposite to what this bit is here, like, like that. Now put redstone all along it, apart from this last block here, and put, what you do, put a block here and a torch on the side of it, and then torches like that. Now if we want to reset it automatically, you don't have to do this, but if you want to, you can come there. We forgot to drag this redstone down, but see, that opens that door. Because we've got it right. Now to reset it, get repeaters, and put them on a big delay so we have enough time to get actually get into the door. And that'll reset it. Right, now if you want a button just for the reset, instead of having an automatic one, build out like this. And this will, this is where your button will be. The reset one. Now you just need to lead a wire up to here. So it like this, like that, like that, like that. So we'll just leave this up, 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 up to there. And now, say we put in a code and we want to reset it, press this button and it resets. So there it is. Build it yourself, have a go. It's not this one's quite easy to make compared to some other ones out there. So uh, thanks for watching and have a nice day.